morning. Happy May the 6th, 2019. This is David trying to start some sort of a video on my YouTube channel about recovery from a whole succession of very serious surgeries and uh, how hard it is and how to, you know, somehow distinguish what's really going on with you. About 26 days ago, I had a combined procedure of a huge incisional hernia repair right in my abdomen, right in the middle of my stomach, right here, combined with a tummy tuck, which means a component separation. That means the doctor took the muscles across the front of the abdomen, and I think he he split them, or he separated the components so as to sort of spread them out a little further out across the abdomen. And added to all of that, the hernia repair, the component separation, I also got a repair of a diastasis recti. All of this was done at uh, <clears throat> Tulane University Hospital here in New Orleans. I was out of the hospital after about six days, the surgery happened on a Sunday, no, on a, a Monday, and I was out the following Sunday. The big uh, issue to get out of the hospital was just when was I going to start passing gas or having a bowel movement, and I finally had one about four days after the procedure. Anyway... To make a long story short, it's now 26 days after this whole series of procedures. Basically, they opened up my belly and stuck my guts back in, which were sticking out about as far as a baby's head. And then they closed the hernia with uh, mesh. And then, on top of that, as I understand it, they did a component separation. I guess probably he did the repair of the uh, diastasis rectus, recti, first, and then he put the component separation over that. Dr. Ducoin, if you have any idea where I am now, he moved, the doctor moved, went off to Tampa because uh, he was very much in demand. I hope Dr. Ducoin doesn't mention me mentioning his name, but I'm thrilled that I got him. He was highly, highly recommended. And uh, I'm, I'm just really confident that uh, I have somebody who I think was phenomenal and managed to, first of all, just take on such a big project. And second of all, I think he did it well. Or I hope he did it well. The earlier doctors that had... Um, operated in my belly before, following a heart bypass operation, three days after which I developed um, perforated diverticulitis, which means that the diverticulum in the colon or in the belly ruptured and spewed um, infection. They call it sepsis throughout the abdomen. The doctor... Uh, then only gave me a, about a 10% chance of survival. He came out after the operation where I had an ostomy. This goes back to 2013. I had an ostomy where basically after a heart procedure, I woke up and found this enormous slit all the way down from my sternum to my pubis because I had been given an ostomy. So then I had to live with an ostomy, which is that nasty bag of shit on your side where the colon has been diverted instead of through your rectum, out the hole on the side of your body. And basically, I um, had to live with a an ostomy for six months until, thank God, the same doctor that saved my life from the perforated diverticulitis um, was able to reverse it. So... Now I have a normal bowel, a reconnected colon, 
And I thought I was in good shape because I'd gotten a, a double bypass and uh, a uh, gratuitous main valve in the heart. Again, this is going back to 13, which is about six years ago. But the problem with all of that is when they have to go into your bowel or into your abdomen from stem to stern, they make a huge incision. And then after that incision, it's very, very common that you're going to have um, what they call an incisional hernia. The incision made a weak spot in the abdominal wall, and that's when the bowels start to gradually poke through. And anyway, if you can see now, no hernia. It's completely gone. And they managed to get my bowels back in. That was back uh, this year in uh, April of 2019. But now I'm trying to struggle with all this repair, having had uh, the incisional hernia repaired, my gut stuck back into my body, a diastasis recti, which meant every time I do sit-ups, and I was always very athletic, or at least, you know, physical fitness oriented, <clears throat> I would notice that when I did sit-ups, I had this enormous ridge that poked down on my stomach here. Women who have cesarean sections, sections quite often um, have to have, a, you know, a belly operation. And they have a big incision. So it's very common in women that have given birth, but not so common in men, although it does occur. Anyway, I was always very self-conscious about the diastasis recti, which means that stomach, stomach muscles are not uh, coming together. They're, they're not tight across the front. So I was always self-conscious about that. And so then I started developing a hernia. And so I thought, oh, this would be great. I'm going to have my doctor highly recommended go ahead and fix my uh, diastasis recti and give me a tummy tuck because that gives you added strength over the mesh that they put in to close the hernia. Sorry, I'm getting a little hoarse. And then as though I wasn't really, you know, this was all of my problems. In the past two years, I've also had uh, a cervical fusion from C3 all the way down to about C7 because I couldn't walk for a while. I had a uh, extreme compressed nerve right in my throat at C3-4. They tried to fix it with an anterior cervical discectomy infusion. That worked for a little while, but then it failed, and the spinal cord was being compressed more and more to the point where I couldn't walk, and I was having pain in my shoulders and my arms. So I've been through the ringer, to make a long story short. I'm 74 years old, which is pretty old. The, uh, the gastric surgeon who agreed somewhat reluctantly to do my procedure uh, was highly recommended. But he did sort of opinion as he was reluctantly agreeing to take me on that uh, he always likes his patients to be ambulatory. And when I first went to see him, I was walking with a couple of ski poles, which basically helps me steady my balance. It's just hard to imagine somebody who's been through all of this. I'm retired Army Reserve, so I guess the Army kept me physically fit for 25 years. But uh, And I also was working out pretty much like three times a week before all of this started to happen to me. Anyway... The immediate problem now, the question in my mind is how much longer is this abdominal pain going to persist, which I would assume is coming from the component separation where they slice the different components of the abdominal muscle, muscles apart so that they can extend them, they can extend them over 
the mesh which has been used to repair the incisional hernia. I have been watching a lot of YouTube trying to find out whether this pain is normal, whether maybe I have torn my hernia apart or something, but I did find something on YouTube, some doctor in uh, India who says that as long as a mesh has been put in correctly, you're going to have pain, but you don't get a hernia recurrence uh, unless it was put in incorrectly or the patient has violated the surgeon's guidelines and he's been too active after the procedure. So I've got to weigh a lot of issues here trying to figure out if my pain now, 26 days after my huh, tummy tuck, diastasis recti repair and hernia repair is normal. And I'm starting to think it is probably normal because I have had a very serious long-ranging operation, period. It was originally scheduled to be five hours long, but instead the doctor came out and told my wife that uh, it actually went a lot better than he thought. He ran into f much fewer adhesions than he expected to find from all that abdominal surgery following the uh, ostomy and subsequent reversal of the ostomy. So he only, the procedure only took him three hours, but that's three hours of opening up the bowel. I mean, opening up the body, uh, you know, getting the, identifying the hernia. You know, I think they excise the hernia, um, the, the hernia sac, and they sew the hernia together. Then they use, they, they, they put a piece of mesh in over the hernia repair to hold that. One doctor said on YouTube, as long as the doctor's done a good job of placing the mesh, you should not have a hernia recurrence because of failure of the mesh. So then it comes down to, well, have I used, have I bent too much or twisted too much? But I've got a component separation on top of the mesh. And that adds a lot of extra strength to the hernia repair itself. Plus, the doctor actually repaired the uh, diastasis recti to give me this beautiful flat belly now. So maybe it's just that when you go through a major abdominal procedure like that, uh, it takes you now four weeks and I'm starting to have weird pains. It really just hurts. I don't know if that's because the components were separated and they're starting to grow together and, you know, they're, they're starting to hook up uh, adhesive between the layers of muscle. I don't know what's going on, but I think it's unlikely that I have a recurrence of the hernia this early. I'm trying to really take care of myself so I don't exercise too much. I mean, I'm not exercising. I'm not going to the gym at all. Believe me, I'm just trying to walk because walking is a problem. I have to use these, these walking sticks to uh, get around because my balance is still bad from the uh, cervical fusion. So my question is just... Uh, Maybe out there to all of the gastric surgeons, or maybe the neurosurgeons, or maybe the physical therapists. Is, is this normal? I've been through a lot. And the question is, am I going to be okay? Am I ever going to be able to get back to the beach? Oh, and by the way, when the doctor reluctantly agreed to take me on, all the nurses in the gastric center at Tulane Medical Center said, oh, Mr. Band." You are going to be ready for the beach. So that was sort of, you know, kind of a, a pick-me-up for my humble little ego. I'm an attorney, by the way. So I guess if we do have a little bit of an ego. Only trouble is, now I don't have much of a neck to uh, get into my nice shirts and fancy suits. And it's hard to get around to try cases because these walking sticks. And I don't know how long it's going to take for my... Uh, 
cervical fusion to take once and for all and whether the pain in my legs going to go away. I'm kind of a mess, but at 74, I think that's the last surgery I'm going to have. And hopefully it was really all worth it. But right now, it hurts. My leg hurts. It's really, I have this pain right here in the outside. That's called the perineal nerve. Sorry for twisting the camera around. Anyway, I've got a lot of issues going on, but I'm feeling pretty upbeat, pretty good. Oh, my, that's the other problem. My wife left for six weeks to get her knee done in Colorado, so I have no caregiver right now, and I am missing some, somebody who was really taking wonderful care of me, not being able to walk, not being able to sit up in bed. It's really... My neurosurgeon knew the gastric surgeon. They had both been at Tulane uh, until my neurosurgeon recently went to a private group. And he said, oh, Mr. Band, you're going to have a little plastic. So I guess neurosurgeons think it's funny what gastric surgeons can do. And I'm also thrilled that I found a gastric surgeon that's able to do some plastic surgery. So there's been all of this, you know, overlapping of medical specialties and everybody's been helping me out. And thanks for the U.S. Army for giving me amazing medical insurance because really I haven't had to pay a dime. And I would encourage anyone who's thinking about the military and has a good education to by all means do it, at least in the reserves. I mean, I, I, I'm not a war hero, but I'm an army retiree. And somehow, I have just been the luckiest guy in the world. And I am going to throw in one more one more dig, or rather one more appreciation to a Catholic uh, patron saint. I mean, he's almost, he's being considered for sainthood. It was a uh, father here in New Orleans called Xavier Silos at the St. Mary's Church up in the Irish Channel, who was known for being a healer. And somehow I've met some friends who volunteered at the church or had heard of Father Silos. And so I've been doing a lot of praying to Father Silos, even though I'm Jewish. So it's just hard to imagine how all of this has come together. But in fact, I would ask y'all to please pray for me because I'll take all the help I can get. I think I'm making it okay. A lot of things going on. I'm having a lot of pain in the stomach area, but I'm hoping that's just from the uh, component separation, otherwise known as abdominal plasty, and the diastasis, recti repair, and the hernia repair. So, peace out. Thank you all for listening. I do tend to get a little boring and you know, drag on and on and on. My voice is not the best. I wish I was a better trial lawyer. But it's fun just to get an audience someplace. This might even go viral. I doubt it. Nobody cares about crazy little David here in New Orleans. The New Orleans attorney who's still practicing law at 74 and trying to get a, another 10 years out of this wonderful life. Peace out. Good luck. I hope everybody does well with their surgeries. Thanks for listening.